insulin pumps, pacemakers, heart monitors. Believe it or not, these items are at risk of being hacked. We're working here on what I believe to be the most important computer security problem in the world. Today on Del Marva Life, we're looking at med jacking. Learn more about what it is and how experts are trying to stop it from happening to you. Something else you want to stop that uneasy feeling if you're walking alone. Learn how your protection companion can tag along always in the palm of your hand. We're also trying to give you the upper hand when it comes to learning what tricks your team may be up to when it comes to the information on their phone. We'll show you how their seemingly innocent apps are actually hiding their personal, sometimes inappropriate, information. Well, we could all use some more information when it comes to figuring out a way to pay for college. You are just under two weeks away from starting all of your financial aid applications. Find out how President Obama is trying to get you your money information sooner and learn which type of loan is better, federal or private. Eating better is hard enough, let alone trying to do it on a budget. See ways you can fill your cart and still save. And this will not only save you money, but time. Today we head into the Delmarva Life Kitchen to show you a quick and fit breakfast idea that you can customize for all the different tastes in your family. And this is a family favorite in my house. Maybe because the two of us being there would make them feel awkward. We make everyone feel awkward. That's our Big Bang Theory is back and better than ever. Coming up, you get a preview. Delmarva Live starts right now. Good afternoon, I'm Lisa Bryant. And I'm Sean Stryker, sitting in for Jimmy Hoppe. Welcome to Delmarva Life from Historic Studio D. We have so much to talk about this Monday afternoon, but first we want to show you what happened on Friday afternoon, speaking of Jimmy. Hey, look, he stopped there by he to is. say, hey, there he is. And if you look in his hand, he has a whole handful of cards yeah, that, that were sent to him just at growing. the station. Yeah, and of course we had to get him into the studio. And on the couch for a Delmarva Life family picture, our producers and editors joined Jimmy, Sean, and myself. But it was also time for Jimmy to let Sean know he shouldn't get too comfortable on the couch. Yeah. We posted these pictures on Facebook, but I wanted everyone to see them. Yeah, Jimmy's a big guy, so, you know, Jimmy, you want the seat. I'm going to give it back to you. It's all yours. <laughs> well, that's great news that he's doing good. We got some more great news for you. Gas prices continue to drop. The national average has fell for 31 consecutive days. Today's price on average is $2.29 per gallon, saving drivers five cents per gallon compared to a week ago, 36 cents versus one month ago, and on average, a dollar six per gallon compared to a year ago. Now, nice. pump prices typically decline this time of year. You know, mm -hmm. people aren't driving as much right. after as the summer, and they're switching over to the winter blend, which is supposedly cheaper to make. I guess so. I want to know. <laughs> yeah, well, the price of gas may not bother you if you were $235 million <laughs> richer. That's the estimated Powerball jackpot for Wednesday. Now, if you took the money in one lump sum, it would be closer to $150 million. So, Sean, that just begs the question what would you do this is my favorite game it is this, your favorite what would you game? do if you won and you know you get a you get a minute to kind of escape reality yeah I, I think I would I like to think I would keep doing what I'm doing yeah but just no, you have wouldn't. a lot more money <laughs> I'd buy and have a lot more nicer things maybe a new suit I don't know what I, would you do I, I don't know I mean, first of all I don't I don't usually play the lottery but um, I wouldn't tell anyone I no. wanted that's for <laughs> that's sure <laughs> well hey Chris Weimer WBOC's Chris Weimer was a big winner not of the lottery but <laughs> with the for the chefs for habitat celebrity waiters race now the object of this race was to be the first person to make it through the obstacle course while holding a tray with a glass of water on on it and you want to make it to the end with the least amount of liquid spilled look at him making his way he, through that course he, he was a he champ fiercely he fiercely fought off nine other competitors to right. be crowned the winner but everyone won because the that race yeah the, it raised nine thousand dollars for yeah. habitat for humanity of wicomico county the whole night you were there i, I was, was there yeah. and we ate like kings and queens the food was so good and another benefit helps feed the hungry on delmarva epworth united methodist church holds its second food truck friday event this friday and you're invited to come out and eat or carry out from various food trucks crab cakes barbecue hot dogs deli food seafood dessert you name it they have it. Now the event raises money for the Food and Love Soup Kitchen and Epworth Skate Park. Now it takes place Friday, September 25th from 5 to 7 p.m. in the parking lot of Epworth United Methodist Church in Rehoboth. Food Truck Friday will continue on the second and fourth Fridays of the month through November. I love those food trucks. They're wonderful. They're so good. You get some great food and mm -hmm. you don't have to travel far. Right. But right. hey, a local pastor is being honored for spending more than 
50 years leading a church in Pocono. Really? It, it's, it's huge. Bishop Isaac Jenkins Sr. has been with Macedonia Baptist Church since October of 1960. Jenkins told the Daily Times that once he was named pastor, he thought he would stay for three or four years with the hope of being called to a larger congregation. He says it didn't turn out that way because of the way that people treated them, uh, him. They treated him like family. Of and course. the church is holding a celebration for Bishop Jenkins this weekend. The Bishop Isaac Jenkins Sr. 55th anniversary celebration is Saturday, September 26 at 3 p.m. at the Pocomo Community Center. For more information, call 443 Two three five nine seven two seven. Well, taking you back to exactly 50 years ago today that President Lyndon B. Johnson signed legislation creating Acid Keeg Island National Seashore. Now, during the decades that led up to this historic event, many people were moved to action and called on Congress to create the National Seashore. That included letter writing and door-to-door -door campaigns. And we love Acid Teague and especially love the ponies we they have We do love down the there. ponies. And that's what makes this next story so sad. Police say somebody stole a pony foal from the Shinkatee Carnival Grounds. Now, the Shinkatee Volunteer Fire Company says Dreamer's Faith, you see her here, was taken from the corral area on either September 6th or 7th. Now, the foal was bought as a buyback at the annual pony action auction in July. Buyback foals are returned to Assateague to live with the rest of the wild ponies. Mm. The fire company is offering a $1,000 reward for information that leads to the rest and the conviction of the person that's responsible. If you have information, call Shinkatee Police at 757 336 3155. Yeah, hope to return him. Okay, so Sean, I know you spent the weekend, you played football yesterday, mm -hmm. you also played a little bit of hockey last night, but I bet you didn't break any world records. No records, m almost a couple bones. We'll take a look at this guy. <laughs> he is a world record holder. This is Purin, he's a beagle, and he is now in the Guinness World Records book for the most ball catches by a dog with paws. In one minute, and in case you were wondering, that's 14 in a minute. He probably also set a record for melting the most hearts oh man, as well. So, Isn't that adorable? so impressive. It is. I'm impressed. <laughs> well, we're hoping to catch something during today's show, the bad guys. Just after the break, we sit down with Lieutenant Tim Robinson for another Most Wanted Monday. See if you recognize anyone. It could mean a few extra bucks in your pocket. Well, one group who certainly wants a few extra bucks in their pockets college kids. Later we find out which changes Obama is making to the current college plan, how much you could shell out for your child's education this year, and which schools here on Delmarva are in your budget. Well, college students are typically eating on a budget as well. Later, we also hear how to save money without sacrificing your healthy lifestyle. And we're in the Delmarva Life Kitchen learning how to make one of Sean's favorite healthy breakfast dishes, overnight oats. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. Delmarva Life is brought to you by Sussex County Federal Credit Union, guiding you to your financial future. Peninsula Regional Medical Center, honored to serve the entire Delmarva Peninsula since 1897. Hertrick Family of Automobile Dealerships, your local York and LG dealers, and State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 